Hey HubSpotters, it's Davey with Paragon. I want to talk to you today about HubSpot's newest tool. It's the prospecting tool. If you, uh, I'm going to walk you through a couple of things today about it. Um, kind of dig into it. There's a few features that are newer to me. Um, so we'll kind of explore together what this tool can do and what the power can be. So in the past, if you wanted to work as a salesperson, you either had to come to your contacts, create a list, figure out who you're working with, um, you also had your uh, task as well. You could come over and see a list of your task, and this is where you'd be. And you could order them maybe by when it was due. Um, so you could say, cool, the due date is today, and then just see all of your tasks that were due today. The problem with this is that you couldn't get really too many other details without clicking into it. The other possible way was to actually start these tasks, and they would take you one by one over to the record, um, but didn't provide any other further views. So what I like about the prospecting tool is that it actually gives you additional details. So to get to it, you go under sales, prospecting, you'll see that it's in beta. This means that you will need to go over to your um, account side here under product updates. Click on this. On the bottom left hand side, you'll see beta, uh, uh, betas and updates. And then you can go and find the prospecting tool if you don't already have it turned on. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And you'll notice in this tool right off the bat that there are quite a few um, items in it. First off, we have a couple of tabs. We'll kind of go through that. Over on the left-hand side, I can see immediately what's going on today. Then I can see what task I have now and in the future. And then I can see what sequences I have and if there are tasks that are due within that sequence, what sequences I have on. I also get access to my own calendar so I can see what things I have already planned for today. So if I had any meetings, they'd show up on here and I would see them. So scrolling back up, let's see what happens when we click on some of our to-dos or our emails today. So I'm gonna click on our um, on my to-dos. And if I click, I get a different screen now that allows me to see the records that I'm on. And as I select each record or task that I'm to do, I get details about that record that it's associated with. So I've got uh, Paul here, I've got my most recent communications, notes, playbooks that are available to me and of course fields and related items this is basically a small snippet or previews you normally get with the one added effect that you get to actually use the functions and the actions that are associated with it if I decide that I'm going to call or that I'm going to email so let's say I click email you'll notice we'll just pull this over so you can see it behind my it'll have the send and complete task button much like doing tasks before and you can create a follow-up task that's associated with it. I can even from here go quickly over to those emails uh, to other items like the emails or phone calls that I need to work on. Okay, Just a little bit more efficient way to kind of check off where you're at and to quickly see records as you kind of parse through. The nice thing about this is in previous ones, on the previous task, you have to click on it, it opens up information, or you have to go through the whole record. This just allows you to kind of pick and choose. We go back to the summary, we can kind of see our overdue task as well. And now if I click on this start all, let's try this function out too. So we've kind of clicked on these, we see that little, little pane. If I click on this, it takes me to the same pane. So in all reality, all of them do the same thing. This just combines everything together that you're working on. You can even then jump to the records to see additional information. This one has a little bit of communication information already in it. So I can get a little bit of snippet of what's going on. Or as you can see, I can pop out to a new window to see what's going on. So let's go back to our summary again. Let's look at these other feed items. So I can look at my schedule. So all it does is actually bring up your calendar in a larger format. Um, we don't see it here because we're not connected. And then also your feed. This is actually powerful in the fact that you can see what activities you've already done for the day. So if I'd completed a call, I'd actually see that today. So you kind of know where you left off. So if you get caught up in something or you come back and you go, what did I do last? I remember I did something and I need to put some notes for it. You can see your activities that you had put with it. So again, the prospecting tool is really nice in the fact that you're actually reaching out and searching for specific um, tasks that you need to get completed. So from a BDR standpoint, I think this is a great tool, very effective and allows you to kind of focus on where you need to focus. Also, don't forget that if you do need any HubSpot help, please reach out to us at Paragon and get a free audit we can tell you a little bit more about your system and how you're using HubSpot. Thanks.